How's it going? Yo. Today's a Wednesday night. It is chilly. If you can believe it. And we're playing some Silent Hill. How's everyone doing? How's your Wednesday? How's your midweek? I finally got to play some Silent Hill 1 again for the PS1. And I'm pretty excited to continue this playthrough. Uh, sorry about the sound. God damn. I need to lower the volume of this thing. Sorry if I destroyed a few of your ears, everybody. Uh, let's try this again. Yeah, I think that's better. For you, it's okay. I thought that was really loud. This is stuff I usually do pre-stream, but I didn't have the, the time today. Yo, Seeker, how's it going? Hello. Let's get this a little bit more centralized. I think that's fine. It's good? Nice, nice. How's your guys' week going? How is School Seeker? Can I get this thing to work actually tonight? I'm gonna have to boot it up again for some reason. It's not responding to... It's not responding to my controllers for some reason. I got really sick, so I went back to my to my town and doctor gave me a week off. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're um, I'm not glad you're sick, but I'm glad you got some time off. I'm at home. Good food and good care. Nice. Are you, do you feel okay though? Is it too bad or? I hope you feel better soon. Okay, the controller's working now. First three days were pretty tough, but I feel so much better right now. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you're feeling better already. I'm sure you plan on doing this, but I advise you take the time to get better. Don't try and rush back to school. Uh, sorry if you can hear my dog barking. Lilo, stop. I gotta relearn the controls too. Apologies for this scuffed start of the stream. I haven't been able to stream for a couple of Wednesdays, so I feel kind of rusty with the PS1. Let him bark. K 
Can I grab any of these? It doesn't seem like it. It's not letting me. That's weird. All right, so to shoot. Yeah, let her. Lilo, Lilo's a girl, but it's fine. It's no big deal. I forgot was what square is for. Zero is the light. Triangle is the menu, right? No, triangle is the map. Select is the menu. I don't remember where we got this. This is the problem of not being able to stream often. Um, I got six pill bottles. I got five first aid kits. I'd say we're doing pretty good. We got a knife, we got a light. Uh, we got a pocket radio. Have we even used this? I don't think we've used this. A portable radio that emits static when monsters are near. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is what's been helping me all this time. I had no idea. Um. So last time where we left it was as soon as we got into this creepy little version of the school. We haven't done anything else. Coffee, I actually don't recall a moment where you have been scared playing a game. That's because I never get scared. I have nerves of steel. I've never been scared in my life. I think square is to run. Yeah, square is run. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. There is another monster nearby. I can hear it. Oh, that's right, because I need to kick this little guy. I forget I need to kick him. Um, where am I? Okay. So I guess we just need to explore, really. I don't have the slightest chance, uh, the slightest knowledge or where we should go at this moment. I know we just got here last stream. I went from... Can I zoom in on this thing? Yeah. So we appeared where the X is and we explored these rooms over here. We went down through the right side of the school and we went straight to the infirmary so we can save our progress. So I guess we're going to explore this side now and possibly go up to the higher levels of the school and try not to die. Yeah, nice, nice decor, really pretty rustic, actually. Not too bad. Got some bullets. Whoever decorated this room has really good taste. I mean, the bar, the barbed wire really contrasts, uh, gives it a good contrast against the bloody wooden door and poop colored couch uh what's over here hmm. what does the map say about this part it doesn't really have a name what is this a door if it is there is no keyhole or even a knob if I push it, it moves a bit, but it certainly won't open. What's this? In the center of the door is a horizontal slot. What is it for? Okay, so we got a horizontal slot on the door. I'm guessing 
the keys are gonna be a sort of block or something. And I'm guessing the keys are gonna be on this side of the school. No, it's locked. So I guess our only options are either to exit the school, if there even is an exit, or go to the second floor. So let's exit first, just because I'm curious to see what the outside world is like in this version of the school. There's an ampule. Take it. Oh, weird. A wheelchair at an elementary school? This ampule reminds me of my days working as a pharmacy tech. I wonder what it has. Like insulin or something? A relieve pain to recover stamina. To high effect, lasts for a while. To recover stamina? I didn't know this game had stamina. Uh, the lock is jammed, this door can't be opened. Okay, so I guess there's no exiting the school for now, so we're gonna just head up to the second floor. So Seeker, what are you up to tonight? Are you just resting? Just taking it easy? It's locked. So I can't go up through this way. Yeah, I played a bunch of games today. Nice, not bad. What'd you play? Now I'm just watching you. Nice, well I'm glad to have you here. So far this game is really not bad, Seeker. I... I really like it. I think thanks to Kingsfields... I realize how much I love environmental puzzle games... ...and horror. Although the horror aspect wasn't in Kingsfield, but... I do enjoy a good... a good puzzle. And it seems like this game is going to be all about that. So is this door jammed as well? Yeah. Hollow Knight. Atrod, Soldier of Fortune, Team Fortress 2. Damn, nice. Uh, Atrod, if that's how you say it. Um, Atrot looks really interesting from that screenshot you sent. I liked the texture work with the pixels. Uh, there's a yellow card here. What's that one song from the band Yellow Card, Ocean Avenue? There's a picture card. Take it. Okay, so that's a key. Um, 
a rectangular card with a picture of a key found on a desk in the classroom so this is rectangular in other words horizontal right like you could say it fits horizontally in a rectangle box so this might be the key to the door we were looking at earlier perhaps yo Rydal, how's it going this game is so nostalgic greetings greetings to you as well welcome in it's my first time playing silent hill any silent hill for that matter is this door jammed as well No, it's the same one actually. Yeah, okay, let's make our way back and see if that card is the key we're looking for. Uh, it's a really w weird game. It's well designed, but the way movement works and the enemies attack and the designs of them. You should see the last boss of the first chapter. I wanna see it. I wanna see how Atrot looks for real. After finishing Half-Life I and playing Impaler, I have a better appreciation for Doomer shooters and it's a genre I've neglected for too long. The games look really creative. Uh, let's save again just in case. Okay, so it has a horizontal slot. I'm guessing the key card we found goes here. Yep. Slid the picture card into the slot. Okay, my radio's not going off, so that means no enemies are nearby and what what is this the the west side of the school all right let's start with the bathrooms i'm not gonna lie bathrooms kind of freak me out in this game just because they're so small there's not many room to evade attacks and they generally just feel claustrophobic I don't see anything here okay there's a monster now somewhere around here I can hear stuff Oh, it's on the other side. Okay, I think we're safe. If you want to get into Boom Shooters, I recommend Dusk. I'll check it out. Is it Boom Shooters? Have, have I been calling it wrong this whole time? I call them Doomer Shooters. Oh, we got some bullets. Nice. Handgun bullets. Uh, shotgun shells. I guess a lot of people 
who play these games also are also doomers i guess i i call them i don't know where i got the term doomer shooters shooters from i guess from doom but i don't know i feel like i've heard it somewhere Okay, so now the question is, how do I make it over to the other side of this fence? It's a good name for a genre. I like it. I like it. It makes me think about Doom, and Doom... It's his origins, but Boom Shooter sounds cool too. And it also makes sense. Um... There's got to be something I'm missing, right? Oh. <laughs> I completely walked by the store here. Wait, where's the fence? Oh. I thought I, I was in a different room for a second. Okay, so this is where I came from. Yeah, I completely missed this door. It's unlocked, okay. But this is just a door to the main hallway. Pretty sure I've been here. It's unlocked. By the way, how do you even navigate in this game, Coffee? I get confused just by watching the stream. Well, I'm I'm relying heavily on the map. I'm relying really heavily on the map, and as you can see, I'm constantly walking by doors and not even realizing it. Uh, there's like a... Some something graffiti on the ground or something. I think this is where I originally came from, right? Power the door is locked. Yeah, but without the map, I don't want to say impossible because I'm sure there are skilled Silent Hill players out there that do challenge runs without the map. But for me, it's almost impossible to play without it. I feel like every step I take, I look at it. What was in the storage room? I feel like I won't find anything here. Those look like dolls or toys on the wall. Blocks and stuff. It's locked probably from this side. Okay, so how do I get up to the upper floor? I'm going to do a quick run around the east section of the school again, just to make sure I didn't leave any essential items. 
but like I'm I'm pretty stuck in this section right here. I don't know how to get to the rest of the hallway. And I also don't know why this door here is scratched off in red since I don't even think I've gotten here. It's weird. But anyway. Thank you guys for bearing with me while I think out loud. Okay, so I've been here. If approached carelessly, I may be sucked in. Yeah, I've been here. Nothing new. I think this was an empty room if I remember correctly. Yeah, I really don't think I'm missing anything. I think I'm gonna have to focus a while on the bathrooms and see if there is a way to get into the hallway. Still locked, I think. Yeah. Actually, was there a hint in in reception behind the reception counter? Um, reception. No, that was only in the in the actual Silent Hill, not this place. Hmm. Okay, so the blood on the floor leads to this bathroom. Oh, this is different. What the hell? This is different. Have I not been into the boys room this whole time? Have I been walking into the wrong bathroom? Okay, there is a shotgun on the floor, and I'm assuming once I pick it up, this thing will jump at me. <laughs> yeah, he's been too busy. He found VR chat and he hasn't showered. Okay. Okay, this guy is, this thing is going to jump at me, right? No? Okay, let's let's equip the shotgun.
Um, let's reload it too, just in case. Um, and let's also take some pills. Just so we know we're extra healthy. And you shoot it just how you shoot the handgun. That's cool. Leonard Rhine, the monster lurks. The monster lurks. What's that supposed to mean? Hang body. Why would somebody... Um, maybe I need to save the shotgun for the monster that's lurking, right? I shouldn't waste essential bullets out of fear. Um, let's walk away and hope this thing doesn't jump at us while we walk away. Now what? Wait, is the fence gone? No. Hello! Hello, son! How's it going? Hello, hello! This is so weird, I'm so confused. Did the fence move? Oh. I'm so confused, I feel like the map is changing and I'm not even realizing it or something. Okay, we got him. Hey son, how's it going? Happy Wednesday. Welcome in. What do you mean that's real? Don't scare me, I'm playing with the lights off. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's nothing I guess, it's just some bloody texture. It looks like it's something. I feel like the map is changing. I'm not even realizing it. <laughs> yeah, for real. For real. I mean, I w I'm pretty sure I wasn't able to enter this room and now... Seeker of Dirinku, you says Uga Booga. Uga Booga. I feel... Yeah, I feel like I wasn't able to enter this room and now all of a sudden I am. Can see some bullets from here. Um, what's that blue thing? What are those? Telephones? Yeah, phones. Can't use the phone. Yeah, it seems like there's bad reception on Silent Hill. Okay, it seems like we're going up now. By the way, apologies. Oh no, what the fuck. Daddy? Help me. Daddy? Where are you? Cheryl! Oh, that's horrible. That was Cheryl's voice, I know it. Where is she? By the way, apologies ahead of time. If you hear my dog barking, it's because it's dinner time for her. And we're about to give her food. So just throwing it out there. You will hear my dog.
So is this No, never mind. Doggy Poggy Woggy, indeed. Doggy Poggy Woggy. She's so much bigger now, I need to send another picture of her on Discord. She's way, way bigger than she used to be. And it's only been a couple of weeks, I think, since we got her. So, okay, so there's only one way to go. La Bebe, yeah. Alright, let's go into the classrooms of this hallway first. Oh, hell no. wasn't smart. Oh. Fuck. Now I have to start. Now I have to go back. Alright. At least I know what to do. But it just sucks. Uh, give her a nice scratch behind her ear. From me next time you can? Sure. I'll do it in a little bit. I think she's gonna get fed in a few minutes here. These are the students? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. They might be. Yo, Crappy, how's it going? Wow, killing sick children. By the way, for everyone just arriving, apologies for my dog. It's feeding time and she's excited, so she's barking. What's up? Not much. Just playing through some more Silent Hill. I'm glad you can make it. How are you doing? Happy Wednesday. Lilo's going insano style. She is. Just having some coffee with work? Nice. Sounds like a chill time. How's work today? Has it been busy? Okay, so I've been here before, but I'm scouting the rooms just in case I missed anything. It feels so bad to die and... See, the rooms are different again. This is so weird. Where are the rooms different? It's actually been pretty chill. I don't know how I missed the stream start. Oh, no worries. We haven't been streaming for too long. And also, it's been kind of slow going tonight, progress-wise at least. I haven't found any legendary puzzles like the piano puzzle last time. See? The room changes. This is so crazy. I like it, but it's so freaking crazy. 
And also, I'm glad it's chill at work for you. The reason I'm so nonchalant here is because I, I've been here already. Alright. Now that we made this progress once again, I hope I don't die. Let's go ahead and unlock this door. Let's go ahead and save actually so we don't have to do this again. Did you enjoying so far this session? Yeah, I am. Definitely. Definitely. I'm still enjoying the game a lot. I'm looking forward to see what kind of puzzle I'll run into soon. I feel like most games that force me to take a more cautious approach, I tend to enjoy easily. And this game really punishes you if you're being reckless. Okay. I still got a get better at fighting I don't know what the proper strategy is yet I feel like I'm gonna die of one more hit Oh, what the hell? How did they get back up so quickly? That was really weird. With the shotgun on your side, this should be an easy run. Hungry little kids asking for pesos. They're so aggressive. For real. Um, when I died a few minutes ago, it's because they were there were three of them. And once they grab you, it's so it it's so hard to get loose again. I'm gonna have to equip the shotgun for that room. For that one room. We're gonna have to see this cutscene again, too. Which is fine, it's a good cutscene. I don't know about you guys, but being an introvert, hearing a phone ring is the most spooky thing you can hear ever daddy help me daddy where are you cheryl all right I know I did this just a couple of minutes ago, but I'm going to go back and save just so we don't have to see that in case we I die again. Oh, no. Okay, I'm running. <laughs> I'm running. Oh, seriously? I didn't know this was a thing.
I didn't know that was a thing. If monsters are attacking you, you can't leave? Oh, I can't leave at all. So I can't save at all. Interesting. Okay. I guess we'll have to deal with it. Change your phone ringer to a sound clip of an invader to gain confidence coffee. That's not a bad idea. I thought introvert was like a job and I was surprised when translated it. <laughs> you thought it was a job? That's so funny. That seriously is so funny. Oh, it's unlocked. Okay, I can make my way to the save room through here. I just need to go a longer route. Let's go ahead and save. I just... I don't want to die again and have to go through those cutscenes. If it's a job, then consider me the <laughs> head director. Uh-oh. I don't like this. Yeah, I can't save it seems like. It won't let me go to the infirmary. Maybe I need to take the long, long way? By the way, Seeker, I'm just curious. Um... Based on the word, right? Based on just how the word sounds, what kind of job did you assume it was? Okay, game saved. Now I can stroll confidently through the halls of Silent Hill. Or Midwitch, right? The school was called Midwitch. Maybe something similar to accountant, I see. It'd be cool if it it'd be cool to get paid to be an introvert. It would be really cool. I would gladly take payment. Okay, so my plan was go into the classrooms before visiting the other hall. This is where we got killed last time. So I think I'm gonna equip the shotgun off the bat. Although I just don't know if that's a good idea. Because I feel like I'll need the shotgun for later. I have that, that feeling. True, it does sound like a data entry job. Okay, I gotta run before the other grabs me. Gotta heal. Okay, we got him. I don't know if it was a mistake using the shotgun, but we got him. I just feel like I have so many handgun bullets, I shouldn't be using the shotgun yet.
What are these? Like shelves? I struggle to find people uh, that shares my interests at uni and I'm really terrible with social skills. I guess I'm also a introvert, just a very talkative one. I wish I could put a word per, per minute limit on myself. What do you mean? You feel that talkative? You shouldn't put a limit on yourself. You should talk however much you'd like to talk. That's good, I feel like. Wanting to talk, actual, actually having genuine interest in talking. Shotgun shells. You're opening yourself up more to people. Wait, you're opening yourself up more to people. Really, they're the ones barring themselves from relating to you for some reason. Yeah, for real. But I, I definitely understand not being able to relate to people. I think that's somebody, something that everyone understands some way or another. Wait, I'm so confused. This is the second floor still, okay. Yeah, I can't I can't force them to understand me. In real life, like outside of video games, I do struggle quite a bit socializing as well. But I, I do think that's normal too. And I'm kind of just fine playing games and reading books on my own. Same here. Seriously. I feel the same way. I don't mind socializing, of course. And I do like having friends. Like, I will never turn somebody who wants to be a friend away. Um... But yeah, that's exactly how I feel too. You can't really force friendships. God damn, these these insects. When it happens, it happens, like with any relationship. Exactly. Exactly. I do find, though, that when people, when I somehow find out that somebody likes the same weird things that I do, it is so much easier to talk to them. Like, if I'm out and about, and for some reason somebody talks to me and we strike up a conversation about Dark Souls, for example, that is such an easy conversation to have. At least in my experience so far, I haven't run into any any cringe Dark Souls fans in the outside world. I have online, but now not in the outside. I tried to open myself up to people at high school, wasn't good. There's always great people out there, I agree. I literally made friends with someone in college because he and I knew the same obscure meme. 
That's exactly what I'm talking about. It does happen every once in a blue moon. And it obviously doesn't even have to be that. I mean, games or memes. It can be books, movies, anything really. Philosophy. It's cool whenever you find that one person that has things in common. Okay, so we when we were in the Silent Hill Overworld, we opened this locker and the cat came out. So I don't think we're going to see a cat this time around. No cat. Nothing in the side. Somehow nothing in the side is even creepier than a monster jumping out. Also, the camera perspective changed. This is not good. Oh, fuck. This actually got me. Library reserve key. I don't know if you guys could tell, but this really got me. Now I need to find out who invented Silent Hill. I need to hold somebody accountable for scaring me. Uh, library reserve, that's all the way over on the north side. And we're obviously gonna take the long way there. Tro Schrodinger's Red Mist? What is that? Okay, Ichiro Toyama is the director? Okay. I blame you, Mr. Toyama. You got me. You know, at least it wasn't a cheesy jump scare. It was kind of a jump scare, but it wasn't a cheap one. Like, there was no screaming. It was really just like a, what is it? A sudden, sudden movement, sudden event. He's also the lead writer. Nice, cool. No, oh, I thought I died there for a second. Why did I go inside this room? No, no, no. You know those moments where, well, those moments where I'm so stressed, or not stressed, but just into the game that I forget I'm streaming? It just kind of happened. 
For a brief moment. For a brief moment I was just playing and then I looked over at OBS and remembered I was streaming. These grab animations are getting to me. Yeah, they're they're tough. They're tough and they're really hard to get away from. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but this game also plays in a tank controlled control kind of way. Like I'm playing with the D pad, like the original PlayStation. I'm not using joysticks or anything. Uh, left and right, turn my character left and right. And then up and down, walk forward and backward. There's no like side strafing as far as... Oh, there is side strafing. What? Ah. L1 and R1 is side strafing. Okay, well, good to know. I'm not sure that I'll use them, but good to know. <laughs> it's still tank controls. They feel pretty good. They feel pretty good, but it, it is kind of odd to run away from enemies in this control style. It does add to the... To the feeling of being helpless in this environment feels a lot more heavier i really hope i don't die let me make sure I have all my bullets. Okay, we got a first aid kit. I can hear some knocking. Some bullets there and the door. Hearing the hunter armed with the bow and arrows said, I will kill the lizard. But upon meeting his opponent, he held back, taunting, Who's afraid of a reptile? At this, the furious lizard hissed. I'll swallow you up in a single bite. Then the huge creature attacked, jaws open wide. This was what the man wanted, calmly drawing his bow. He shot into the lizard's gaping mouth. Effortlessly, the arrow flew, piercing the defenseless maw, and the lizard fell down dead. This is from an old fairy tale. I remember reading it as a kid. Okay, this is a hint. This is definitely a hint. I think we're going to find an enemy with a big mouth or something. And we're going to have to wait for the enemy to open its mouth to shoot. That's got to be it, right? It's just flat out telling me how to beat the, the new enemy they're going to throw at us. I kind of want to go back and save now. I'm a little bit frightened, I will admit, so if you guys don't mind, I'm gonna try and go back and save. I know it's a little bit of a jog, but... 
I just, I really don't want to die right now. I'm not sure if the game's gonna throw a new enemy at us or something, but... That book wasn't too reassuring. Okay, so get to the save station, to the infirmary. I just gotta go down the left. What school has iron walls? Um, the school in the iron keep does. This is where young kids in the iron keep go to become a lot knights. <laughs> iron keep. Drang Lake Mines Think Alike Drang Lake Yeah, just a couple of DS2 nerds Drang Lake I can't remember... damn I gotta start writing down which Dark Souls 2 videos I've watched because I've just watched too many. Um, I can't remember who it was. I gotta look it up. I think it was King K actually. Uh, it was a Dark Souls 2 essay. Um, I think at the beginning of the video, he was like, people were telling me I was pronouncing Drang Lake wrong. And I think it's because he kept saying Drang Leak like leak and then when he said it right he said drang lake people corrected him again saying it wasn't drang lake it's drang lake i just thought that was funny i just say drang lake but i guess i don't know if it's people trolling but the correct way to say it is like that drang lake I gotta play DS2. You gotta. For real, you gotta. I was telling Crappy the other day that, uh... Sen got me to play VR chat. And we found Majula from Dark Souls 2 in VR chat. And that blew my mind. That That's amazing. I made that map my home in VR chat. Now whenever I boot the game up, that's where I spawn. Okay. All the way to the end and then through the library. Okay, now that we've saved, I shouldn't feel as nervous. Be right back, no worries. Uh, you don't need a VR headset to play VR chat. No, you don't. You do not. You can just use your PC. And any normal monitor. Locked. I 
It's locked. Okay. Huh. What secrets this world still hides from me, I wonder. That's a big reveal for you? I've heard that too. I've heard that too. I some I think I knew that you could play without a VR headset, but I never I never tried it before. I didn't have any interest in it. And it's pretty cool, I gotta say. It's it's pretty fun just to just to chill and hang out. Me, uh, Sen and I were yesterday. We were hanging out in some Undertale worlds. Um, we went into some Avatar worlds too. Not not Avatar like the movie. Avatar as in like avatars for your VR character Hey, okay, we're in the third floor uh, There is a door spooky door here Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. It's fun for real. It is. It is fun. I have enjoyed my time with it so far. There are a lot of cool people. There's also some cringe people here and there. And it's easy to run into the wrong people in VR chat. But I think if you're hanging out with a friend or you're just checking out worlds on your own or just going to chill places you'll be fine what's your avatar coffee a giant coffee mug that's a good idea but no my avatar is actually a skeleton in a hoodie I went into VR chat and within a few minutes I found a skeleton in a hoodie. Okay, so there is a valve here. I wonder what it does. And there's the same, like, graffiti that we saw uh, in the courtyard. There's a drainage valve. Nothing unusual. Can't I spin it, though? I want to spin it. I want to see what happens. Oh, what's this? There's a hanging key. It's just out of reach. Okay, can I turn the valve on now? It drains into the wrong hole. Maybe I could plug it up somehow. Okay, yeah, I think I have an idea on how. I think I think we could use that rubber ball we found. Maybe that'll work. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That valve is the cleanest single thing in the entire school. Yeah. 
For real. The water looks pretty clean too, actually. Looks pretty clear and blue. Okay, so I'm assuming that key will land somewhere in the floor beneath this place? Question mark? The key went down the drain. Yeah, it's gotta be beneath this place somehow. And I'm guessing it's gotta be near where the stairs are. Maybe the... Oh, over here. It's gotta be in the hallway, right? Is it here? It's gotta be somewhere around here. There it is. Or not. Never mind. I feel like this is underneath the drain. Maybe the chemistry lab? Let me reload. Actually, I have... I have all my ammo. Doors jammed. Jammed. Huh. Maybe it went all the way down to the first floor? In that case, it might be in the main hallway, I guess. We could try that. This really reminds me of Fallout. Of a Fallout Vault. True. I can see... I can definitely see the, the similarity. Nothing new here. Oh, let's check the library just in case. Nothing. I, th I think the key is going to be on the first floor. If not, we'll come back. We have no other choice, but I think it's going to be on the first floor. It's got to be on in the hallway somehow. Uh, did I go the wrong way? Oh, I did. Okay, I don't know if it's my head playing tricks with me. But I feel like that loading screen took a little bit longer than usual. Which makes me think something's gonna happen.
Okay, nothing new here. Um, might as well check these rooms, right? Uh, let's check the storage first. I don't see anything new. A headless doll is stuck to the wall. Maybe it's in the room with the, with the big vent. This room right here. No, nothing. Something hasn't happened for a while. Something is going to happen. Maybe. I hope you're right. Welcome back, crappy. Prepare to get your life's force stolen. Yeah, it feels like that's going to happen soon. <laughs> you guys sure enjoy when I play horror games, it seems like. So, I don't think the key is going to be on this side. I'm guessing it might be in the restrooms, right? Because the the drain might take it down. I miss hanging with friends in uh, couch gaming with snacks and stuff. This is as close as I'll get. Uh, well, that means a lot. Thank you. I'm glad I, I can do that. Seriously. That does mean a lot. This is kind of how it feels for me, too. That's kind of how I've viewed it. It's, it does feel like a hangout a lot of the times. Since I'm down here anyway, before I go into the bathrooms, I think I'm going to go ahead and save in case something happens. Only in case, right? Because nothing bad would happen in a place like this, right? I don't think anything bad will happen. Uh, by the way, Krabby, when you were gone, uh, what I did was there was a key stuck in a drain in the roof. And I opened a, a faucet of water to let the key down the drain. So we're just looking for that key for that key now. The key went down the drain and we don't know where it's at. don't know exactly what that key might be for, but I'm pretty sure we're going to need it. I've just, I feel like I've run into so many locked doors, I don't know what it would be for. Which one it would be for, I mean. I'm so lost. Like 2014 summer.
I actually had some friends to play Minecraft Bed Wars all night. That sounds like fun. I had a summer like that around 2015, almost around the same time. Uh, we didn't play Bed Wars, but all we did was play Minecraft. That was also 2015? Cool. It's crazy to think it's almost 10 years already. We old. Okay, so the key is not here. So we can put that theory to rest. Dude, it's been a decade since I've been out of high school. Weird. Really feels weird, yeah. Bed Wars is probably my all-time fave PvP game mode. I used to play a lot of Hunger Games in Minecraft. Rock Angel TV, hello, how you doing? Welcome. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Give me your wisdom, Elder One. How's it going, Rock Angel? How you doing? I take it you are a Silent Hill enthusiast. Uh, let's go up to the second and third floor again. I feel like I gotta find this key. Let's check the phone just cuz we can't use it. Alright, so we checked the storage, we checked the fan room, um, we checked the hall. Yeah, let's go up the stairs. I don't think there's anything else to check down here. Yo, thank you for the follow, and hello to you too. For those of you who are new here, my name is Coffee. I am a skeleton on the interwebs who enjoys Souls games and horror games. And I've been told I'm pretty chill. I also have a coffee dependence, which I'm not shy about it. Coffee's not a bad thing to be addicted to. Okay, so this is the roof. Uh, this is the valve we turned earlier. The key should have fallen down from here. Hey, coffee, at least it's not unhealthy. Yeah, exactly. It really is not. It's it. Coffee's really not bad for your health. I have heard it is bad for anxiety in the moment because some coffees are strong and they get your heart rate up, but really, it, it doesn't have any like lasting effects, any damaging ones at least.
And it also depends on which kind of coffee you drink. Okay, okay, so it's not in the bathrooms, it's not in this hallway. We can't go in the lab equipment room yet. So I guess we just gotta explore some more. I I really have no idea where this, where this key is now. I know that the biggest downside is that it creates a dependency. It does, it really does. It really does. I need at least one cup of coffee a day minimum. I usually have two. That's the average for me. But uh, minimum one, like if I don't have coffee, I will get a slight headache. And it'll, it will get worse slowly throughout the day until I have my coffee. It's bad. And in the past, I have gone, as the kids say, you gotta manifest it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta manifest. I gotta practice my manifesting. Oh wait, I didn't read this book. Oh no, fuck. Manifestation of delusions? Now that's creepy. That's creepy. Okay. Manifestation of delusions. Poltergeists are among these negative emotions like fear. Worry or stress manifest into external energy with physical effects. Nightmares have, in some cases, been shown to trigger them. However, such phenomena do not appear to happen to just anyone. Although it's not clear why, adolescents, especially girls, are prone to such occurrences, occ occurrences, occurrences. My god, that's a weird coincidence. Speaking about manifesting and the first thing I read says manifestation That is freaking creepy Green tea gotta be the kryptonite of coffee enthusiasts Green tea is not bad. I, I actually love green tea. I don't have it in the mornings, but I, I do love green tea. It's been a while since I made green tea and rice, actually. I freaking love that dish. How do I spell that? Hard wood? Hard wood? Or green tea? I think you spelled it all right. T is T E A, but it doesn't matter. I'm so confused on where I need to go. Oh, wait. I see something through the fence. Is that the key? I see like something shiny through the fence. The enthusiast? I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly how to spell enthusiast. I'm guessing it's like this, but with an E, because I got a typo.
Okay, so somehow I feel like I have to go up the stairs on the other side. Or let's go to the locker room. Let's see if we can do anything new there. I can't remember if there was a sink or something in the locker room. Nice, health drink. Don't know how I missed that earlier, but I'm happy I found it. So guys, I have a question. When I watch somebody play a video game on stream or on YouTube I'm not sure if you guys do the same thing and I don't do it intentionally but for some reason when the person is talking and I see their character like playing out in the game I imagine the character is the person if that makes sense like I imagine that what the person is saying is coming through the character's mouth. Is that weird? Maybe that's weird, but I thought I'd share it. I thought I'd share it. I don't know why, like in my head, hearing a narrator play, uh, play a video game it makes it more entertaining because I feel like the person talking is the protagonist, if that makes sense. Yeah, character possession, exactly. I don't know. For me, it makes it kind of funny. Okay, this is what scared me earlier. Still nothing inside. So this store is locked still. Hey man, are you stuck? Stanley enters the door on his left. Stanley? Why is this music playing in these rooms? There's like a unique song playing in these rooms. It's the same song from the courtyard. Okay, let, let's go down. A unique thong? Yeah, a unique thong. Don't you hear the thong? Oh, I was attempting a Stanley Parable joke. It is the sound of your nightmares. <laughs> the sound of my nightmares. Yeah, that, that song does sound like my nightmares a little bit. And sorry, yeah, I haven't I haven't played the Stanley Parable. I've heard it's a good game though. So is that door unlocked now? Because that's 
the only way I see making progress is going up that set of stairs on the right side of the school. Still locked. Stanley Parable is great. Oh, the drain. Oh my goodness. I found it out of pure coincidence. Nice. There is a classroom key. Awesome, and we know what it's for, too. Very good. Thank you. I won't give anything away, but let me see. Let me see what's in your inventory. You know where you at. Oh, hey. Onigami Yura. I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was you. Hello. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. Welcome in. Apologies. In my screen, your name is the same color as Seeker. So I hadn't realized it was you. Hello. Welcome in. Welcome in. Key acquired indeed. All right, so now we got to go up to the classrooms. Also, thank you. Thank you, Onigami, for coming by. I appreciate you hanging out. Um, all right. So the classrooms are on the second floor on the right side. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and save now that I'm down here. And we're going to make our way up. Hello T2, welcome. Happy Wednesday. Happy Silent Hill Wednesday. It's always cool to see you suffer with this game. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys enjoy me suffering in this game. I really am. Genuinely. And I, I do have fun with this game. It's really good. I enjoy games that test you. If a game's too easy... Or too obvious, I lose interest pretty quickly. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and save and we'll make our way up to the classrooms. By the way guys, uh, for those of you who haven't been here for too long, if for any reason you don't see me live on a Wednesday or a Sunday, it's because of my internet most likely. Just throwing it out there. Because I feel like I missed a couple of Wednesdays and I haven't been able to stream Silent Hill for a while. But for now it seems like I'm back, it seems like my internet is fine now. It's a jam door checking math simulator, but a great game nonetheless. True. True. Very true. I feel like I rely very, very heavily on the map. I'm not sure if everyone does, or it's just something I'm doing. But I feel like uh, I'll get lost if I don't. I'm constantly opening and closing the map. Let me save once again. For some reason with retro games, I always seem to double or triple, triple save just to make sure I'm saving. Old habit. Um, let's see, we gotta go up the stairs. Triple, 
trip roll save. <laughs> Old habits die hard. I can't play a game if it doesn't let me trip roll save. Trip roll saves is the new technology by Microsoft. It's the best thing they've invented since teraflops. The fixed cameras are very disorienting. They are, they are, they really are. It is difficult to navigate. Uh, somehow I, I find them really charming at the same time. They are disorienting. Okay, we got new enemies. So this must mean I'm doing something right. It's kind of like Kingsfield in the sense that um, the camera is definitely a burden at times, like the character controls are just so slow to turn around especially, but at the same time they grow on you in a really charming way. Okay, classroom. Ooh, I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. Okay, running time. Nope. Almost grabbed me. Is this one still alive? Kind of out of topic. Uh, kind of wonder what you guys feel about AR art and it's filling every space in the web it finds. Kind of annoying to see it everywhere. Yeah, yeah, um, to be honest, AI art, I don't enjoy it myself. Um, I think it's really shitty how a lot of AI art developers are going about it by stealing art and using art without permission. It sucks. I hope some better practices are implemented. I do think that the topic of AI art it's interesting in of itself like software and devel development design wise but the way it's being approached is really shitty I don't like it at all exactly because of the fixed cameras but not really I can't imagine this game without the tank controls yeah, yeah, the tank controls grow on you too. I agree. And yeah, I don't know what else to say about AI art. I, I really don't like it. It is kind of scary now. AI art is great to decensoring hentai. I think I think it's interesting like software wise but I think it's being used in the wrong ways and it's it can be harmful it, it has become a little bit harmful for artists uh, 
I I'm not liking what it's become. And, and, yeah, crappy, exactly, that's what I was about to say. Um, AI art is a stretch of a term. It should be called AI-generated images. I, I agree. Um, AI-generated images, not awful people who profit off of other artists' work via repurposed Frankenstein pictures and claiming their valid art suck my nuts. I completely agree, I completely agree. And definitely, art is a stretch of of what it's called. It's not art. I really don't like AI art. I don't find them beautiful either. Who pays for those? Yes, and it's my belief. I, I'm sure not everyone will agree with me. But it is my belief that for art to be art, there needs to be a person on the other side. There needs to be intention and, for a lack of a better term, soul put into it. I'm not saying that, like, someone who develops a software is not a person, but, like, you might be a good developer, but you can't... Like, it's not art. It, it really is not art. There has to be an artist behind the piece. In my opinion, that's how art should work. A machine can't do it. Bugs? Yeah, but truly, AR, a, AR, sorry, AI generated images is not good. It, it doesn't, they don't have good practices, the people who usually develop those softwares and use them in the real world. Um, but yeah, apologies if I'm not too eloquent in the way of speaking about it. I feel like it's become for the people who like are trying to get money off of it. <laughs> uh, hundred bits. Thank you, son. Thank you for the hundred bits. Thank you so much. AI, draw me up, coffee space. Um, yeah, but for real, sorry if I don't use like if I'm not too eloquent explaining my thoughts on it. I. I know I don't like it, I know I don't like the practices, and I feel like it's really harmful for the art community. It is pretty worthless at this point, yeah. But it is scary that it is getting better, and it's really shitty how it's getting better by profiting by using other people's art without their consent. I promise you, I promise you, if you, if you go to like an AI image generator, 
and asks for for my face it will not come up with the proper face it will get it 100% wrong Uh, draw up a coffee mug on fire. I work with Illustrator and he tried to yellow his work with a trial of a, a Pays AI software. He could not get the prompts he asked for the help of it. I see. Yeah, it's it, it honestly the technology is not entirely there yet for sure, but it is scary. It is scary, and it is pretty shitty how they're going about it, too. To me, the scariest thing is that they're using other people's art without their consent. To me, that's just the scariest thing, especially if they have intention of making money money off of it. Compared to where it was two years ago, makes you think what will... Yeah, exactly. I agree, son. Yeah. Yeah, photo bashing. True. We got another ampule, some more bullets. When first I heard of it, I I assumed it was gonna become this useful tool we could use for like inspiration, not really for like finished products or making money off of it. Um, I thought it was gonna be this thing, like for example, a prompt generator. Uh, you go to a website to give you ideas on a random drawing, you know? Uh, there's Dark Souls prompt generators, general prompt generators. Hell, there's like, uh, what is it? Websites that host images so you can practice reference off of uh, different human poses, you know? I thought it was going to become something like that. You can type in like medieval armor, 1800s medieval armor, for example, and it'll give you a set of generated images w with which you can use as reference. But... That was before I learned how those images are generated. Once I learned that it's using other people's art, that's when I my opinion completely changed. Code is art. It's produce. Its product is not art. Photo bashing is at least worth respecting, in my opinion. Yeah, coding... Sure, coding is art, but... It doesn't change the fact that they're stealing art to... Um... To show the software how to make art, you know what I mean? As far as I know, you need to feed, feed the code art so it learns how to make those images and uses, uses it as a reference, and that's not cool. If you sell a product that's made out of a lot of things you stole, it's not yours. It doesn't matter if the code is yours. You don't need to feed your brain art to make art. You can, but you don't need to. <laughs> Sadly, computers don't have brains. True. Uh, yeah, Seeker, um, a while ago, 
a while ago someone entered and won an art competition in Colorado with AI art AI AI generated image you can't draw if you've never seen a drawing then when did the first wh when where did the first drawing come from um Miyazaki from Studio Ghibli he one of his many tips on making art is go out into the world and experience it it's not look at other art there are a lot of things you can draw from life to make art nature is not art it's beautiful but it's not art True, the first drawing was not the Mona Lisa. I agree. True. Would have been sick if that was like the first human drawing in history. Not man-made art. Nature. True, you can learn a lot of techniques by looking at art and talking with artists, that is true. I don't know what I did, I didn't read. Oh, I see. Oh. This is a puzzle. Zen Biometer says, in my opinion, nature is art. It's the universe manifesting its natural progression, just like an artist would. <laughs> Me grinder. That's brilliant. Me grinder mp3. This is a great puzzle. Nice. I'm looking forward to doing it. In your opinion, nature is art. The universe manifests its natural progression, just like an artist would. I don't know. I don't know. Personally, I don't think it's art. I am pretty skeptical about most things. And like I said earlier, um, in my personal opinion, like I, I'm, I'm sure not everyone's going to agree, um, there has to be somebody behind the art. And sure, you can't just prove that somebody wasn't behind nature, but you can't prove it either. <laughs> Games, ah, uh, Seeker, hitting with the hard questions. Hitting with the hard questions. God damn. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's, that's freaking great. Be critical of your own skepticism. I gotta go. Peace out for now. See ya, son. Thank you for coming by. I do appreciate you. It's always a pleasure. And thank you for the bits. See you later, son. Is it corny for me to say that nature is life and life is art? Or at least holds artistry, in my opinion? Um, It's not corny at all, no. It's not corny at all, and I do understand where you're coming from, absolutely. It is beautiful. Nature is beautiful. And if you told me there was someone behind it, I would totally believe you. Nature is almost perfect. Symbiometer says if nature is not art... What is the Mona Lisa? Aren't the universe becoming aware of itself? <laughs> Damn, good point, yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. If 
fucking good points then, god damn it. Forgive my silence, I'm thinking on that. That's really good. Good observation, son. The art of evolution, chiseling the environment through the millennia. I guess for me, I see it as two ways of natural beauty being artful and sentiently made art being different, but parallel a parallel category. My parent made some type of lawyer out of out of me. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out. I do understand what you mean. Thank you, son. I, I do understand your opinion, too. I like it, too. I've always been a big fan of, uh... Like... And I know I'm breaking my one of my own rules, technically, for mentioning this. Um, because I, I don't really talk about religion here. Uh, at all, really. Um, but I've always been a fan... I, I'm not saying, like, I live by them. Or I believe them 100%. But I've always been a fan of sun, some Buddhist ideals, and uh, one of the things I've read throughout the books I've read on Buddhism is uh, how they believe in the idea of consciousness, and uh, there's, there's definitely something after death because uh, uh, there, there's always got to be an experience like there's no such thing as a non-experience if that makes sense um, And I've always loved the idea of the universe itself being conscious and we are just representations of the universe observing itself I've just always loved that idea Unless they develop an actual AI that not just learns, seeks patterns, but also feels and makes mistakes because a perfect art is an empty canvas. Wait, wait, wait. I feel like I read that wrong. Unless they develop an actual AI that not just learns, seeks patterns, but also feels and makes mistakes because a perfect art is an empty canvas. The chat is great. But you will never leave the vault if you don't concentrate. <laughs> That's funny. And true, true. This is quite the puzzle though, I like it. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it started raining here really, really heavily. I can see how the puzzle works, sort of, but... Oh, I did it! Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. I was focusing, but I feel like I got sort of lucky. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared. Thank you for the GG's. Okay. 
Bo burning corpse and or effigy? Boss room? Oh! Okay. Okay. We got this. I know how to kill it. Oh, not like that. <laughs> not like that at all. I know how to kill it though. I think the book was the hint we needed. Uh, what was your last save? My last save was a little bit ago, definitely before doing that last puzzle. Yo, is that the chosen undead? Yeah, we, we caught him just when they were licking the first flame. Did I turn off the light? Oh, I don't have my flashlight with me, do I? Okay, so... Oh, by canvas, I meant since everything made by human hand is going to be flawed. To make perfect art, you shouldn't even touch the canvas. Which is why AI shouldn't either, because they just work with cold math. It's it's fine, Seeker. It's fine. Don't worry about if we left the topic. It's totally fine and good point, seriously. Uh, doesn't a tall statuette re require a cold meth to stand? You're just devil's advocate. Understandable. Understandable. We're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? Okay. I feel like we don't have just to shoot it. Like, it's... It's gotta be more complicated, right? This has to be a puzzle in of itself. It can't be this simple. This is not... Computers are our demons, we just don't understand it. What? <laughs> You're doing a, a caca break. I feel like I'm missing something. Computers came to solve problems we didn't have before the invention of computers. True. Why... I can't switch on my flashlight. Zen Biometer says when computation began, we referred to them as a demon. Maybe I need to hit it in the butt? No. I'm pretty sure I need to shoot at it when its mouth is open. The problem is it, it, it does quite a bit of damage and I can't seem to notice when its mouth is open on time.
Yeah, personally guys, I don't like AI art and after learning what I did, I don't think my opinion will change either. Stealing art for any purpose at all, I don't care if you're... I don't care what you're doing, it, it's not cool. Any artist will agree. Did I do it? Did I do it? Zen Biometer says just wait till the start making beautiful real life bridges, then the conversation will really start. Huh? What was that? Who in the hell was that? Am I back at the normal school? Yeah, I'm in the boiler room. Oh, amazing. Freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. If I'm questioning where I am and the characters questioning where they are at the same time, good game. Good game. It can't create art, but AI is getting really good at pretending it can. Absolutely, and it is scary. It is scary. In my, in my job, we rely on special tech, but even that has gone over manually by artists like me when it just can't capture the right stuff. Spoopy. You and Harry are one. <laughs> yeah, that's that's funny. I like it. Uh, there's a uh, Hey Gordon key. Take it. Yeah, sure. I don't know who K Gordon is, but I'll take it. All right, let's switch guns. Um, it is that time of night, unfortunately. It's about that time I end stream, but of course I will not end stream until I save. So let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully, hopefully there's nothing too dangerous on my way to the infirmary and I can actually save without dying. But a uh, good freaking session. Zen Biometer says, yo, AI make the most beautiful skyscraper and build it. No, Zen, I respectfully disagree. And yeah, it's been a fun stream. Uh, it's been a really fun stream. Uh, let's check the storage because we just got a key and it seems to be shut. I haven't been to the actual actual school in a while. No, can't use it here. Never mind. Mrs. Gordon is mentioned on the teachers list. Okay. shirt bell maybe who's ringing the bell uh-oh I need to venture out into the world again Credit your sources? Credit your sources, son. I don't need to credit my sources. I'm an artist. I am my own source. 
AI art is a scam. You're hearing it from the source. The AI should credit his source. Its source is stolen art. Um, let's check the reception because I see a question mark. I know I said I was gonna end stream, but I'm just gonna check a few things before I do The source is stolen art for now forever because even in even in the future if you don't need to steal art These are the bones with which a the AR legacy has been built upon stolen art Even if in the future you don't need it. This is how it started. list of teachers k gordon that's it i'll note the address down on the map cool all right i'm gonna end stream outside because i feel like we've been indoors for a while now and it's good to catch some silent hill air air before i end the snow's so beautiful this time of year Zen Biometer says what is an artist? Alright guys, it's been a fun stream. I'm loving the game so far, I can't wait to jump in the rest of the series. And yeah, thank you all for joining. It's been a really nice Wednesday. I'm beyond happy that I was able to stream today, considering the past couple of Wednesdays my internet has been shit. Um, but yeah, it, it's been a really good time. Great stream, thank you. Thank you all for being here. Um, internet permitting, I'll be back on Sunday with some more Art Souls. Um, next week, I'm going to be off the whole week. So expect more streams, probably Dark Souls 2 related. And yeah, next Wednesday more Silent Hill as well. Art is brilliant, beautiful, and enchants us to the point of obsession. Some are true to their purpose, though they are but shells, flesh and mind. One man lost his own body, but lingered on as a head. Others chase the charms of love, however elusive. What is it that drives you? Another fabulous Aldia quote. Have a great day. Thank you. Have a great day yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a Silent Hill puzzle? No, that's a quote from Dark Souls 2. Great quote, for real. <laughs> it sounds like a Silent Hill puzzle. It really does. But thanks again, guys. Um, actually, now that I've kept rambling on, let me see if anyone else is live. I'd like to raid somebody, if anyone I know is live. Um, give me a second. Sorry for the wait, guys. Yeah, somebody from the skeleton community is making art tonight. Let's go ahead and raid them real quick. Hey, thank you all for being here, for real.
All right, we're gonna be raiding Grail. It seems like she's doing some art tonight. It looks cool. I'm gonna be there. I'll see you all next time. Have a good night, everybody. Happy Wednesday. See you later. Bye-bye.